<laughs> Nick's delivering a forecast that we're going to like because I think it's time for some some change. Yeah, right. Yeah, we're going to finally talk about some snowflakes across the Sierra. I think the, the uh, snow lovers might be uh, thrilled about that. Oh, one. no doubt. Yeah, they've been <laughs> waiting. We've been waiting, had that itch in place. It's going to be a slow just transition. It's going to start off fairly warm with rain, but then we'll begin to see the snow levels dropping over the next few days. Today has been pretty quiet. We had some of that fog early this morning, bringing down visibility. But then since then, it's led to a pretty nice afternoon. Temperature has been up into the 60s today. Not bad for a December day. You can see the clouds just off to the west here that will continue to fill in as we work our way through the night into the early morning hours tomorrow. But the main weather event has been across the Pacific Northwest. A strong atmospheric river set up storm after storm is causing some flooding across parts of Washington state, especially along and to the west of the mountain range there, the coastal ranges up there in Washington. But when it comes to our weather for the early morning hours, there'll be a quiet start to the day. In fact, there could be some uh, breaks in the cloud cover, especially as you go down to the south. Rain still to the west, but as you head out for lunch tomorrow or heading home from work, do plan for wet roadways and slower travel there. You can see the rain across much of the valley into the foothills and then the higher elevations getting into some snow. But because it's going to be a warm start to this, to this event, temperatures in the mountains starting off near 50. So the snow levels are going to be very high tomorrow initially. And then as we get into the old Overnight hours, the snow levels start to drop. But when that takes place, the amount of precipitation that's falling during the overnight hours won't be as much. So a good amount of rain to start. But moving into Thursday, then we have another batch of moisture coming through. And this one could lead to some steadier snow and a lot colder. Temperatures will be dropping. So the snow levels down to about 4,000 feet on Thursday. And that will lead to accumulating snow, especially at the passes. And that is where a winter weather advisory is in place on Thursday because of that accumulating snow uh, for the higher elevations. When it comes to pass level, I'm looking at right now about five to 10 inches of snow at pass level. So Donner Summit, uh, especially included within that. And then when it comes to communities like Truckee and the South Lake Tahoe, not much because a lot of it's going to be rain to start. So perhaps about two inches of uh, snowfall there by Thursday night. In terms of the rainfall for the valley, about a tenth to a quarter of an inch. Rainfall amounts will increase as you go north across the Sacramento Valley. Otherwise, further south, fairly dry. And the winds kicking up, too, in the Sierra as well. Uh, we are looking at gusts Wednesday into Thursday, approaching near 40 miles per hour, 45 miles per hour uh, for the Sierra. But the higher peaks getting into some of the stronger gusts uh, with, the, with the upcoming storm. Otherwise, temperature is dropping off quite a bit behind this event. So as we get into Friday, the sun makes a return but temperatures will be running into the upper 50s Saturday morning back into the 30s. So frost expected in the early morning hours of the valley and then by the rest of the weekend looking fantastic with the mix of sun and clouds.